the team discussion didn't take very long because I think we all knew exactly how it was going to go, and it did. Shishkin himself was was great. He was, you know, he jumped like he always does. He's incredibly economical. He has a, he's a it's his own technique of jumping fences. It's it's nearly hurdling rather than jumping, but it's very very efficient and it's very quick. Sometimes frighteningly quick, to be honest with you. He, he doesn't get much higher than he needs to, so I hope his, you know, his gauge is, always stays correct because it's, it's a little scary at times when you watch him. And having had sprinted an Altior as, as, as sort of real, uh, well, they both won their Arkles before they won their champion chases, we must be just very lucky boys because to have found a third one that might be as good as any of them, he might be, but we haven't got that far yet. But he's taken the right, he's won a Supreme, He's won an Arco. He's on the road, and it, I mean, he just could be anything. And will we likely see him again this season? I'm hoping to go to Aintree. Yes, um, there's a Grade One there, and I wouldn't go to Punchstown this year. I think that's going to be. I, I don't think we'd be able to go anyway. I don't say that Shishkin couldn't go without me because he doesn't miss me that much. I can assure you, but um, we'd go to Aintree. Yeah. And then next season, hopefully, just the, the set similar sort of route for your two milers. Well, it'd be the state, exactly. It'll be down the old Altior Sprinter Sacra route, Tingle Creeks and Clarence Houses and Champion Chases. I mean, uh, it, it virtually dictates itself, yes. And Epitont, she ran, she ran well. Um, she probably didn't match last year's form, but were you happy with that run? I don't think she did, no. I think she ought to have been second and wouldn't have beaten Honeysuckle I, I think she'd had to have been. It was it was a much it was a better champion hurdle altogether this year. Charger beating her in for second isn't quite right. In in you know she didn't have a great passage round. She didn't quite get into her normal rhythm. She get, she's going to go back to Ireland for the summer anyway to JP Stud for a summer holiday. So I would think she'll take in Punchdown on the way. You know I mean Honeysuckle was just very very impressive. So we can. We, I think we're better than what we saw last week. Um, so we'll, we'll give it another go. She's come back well. I mean, I'd said to JP and one or two others that he, he was, he's been in great form. I, mean, he, I must say he did very well. He was very impressive at Ascot the first time. Then he was very, very unimpressive, jumping in particular, when he got beat. Actually, Fusey Raffles beat him at Cheltenham, and he jumped really indifferently. And we had to do back surgery on him. It, was, it took eight weeks from doing surgery on his back to when he returned. I got one prep race into him at Weatherby. And that was exactly eight weeks to the day that he had surgery on his back. And to get back that quickly was a pretty amazing performance for the horse anyway. Um, I needed that run. And then, you know, we were pretty confident. I was confident that... Or like I was said, I'd be disappointed if he couldn't give Envoy Allen some sort of a race. I didn't expect to beat him. Um, I think he's been a superb horse. But I think this is good. And I'd always rather hope that we would we'd at least make him shake the reins. Now, obviously, for them, sadly, it went wrong. And he fell. Then it left the race wide open. Then it got into a very hustly bustly contest. It nearly took Chantry House out of his sort of comfort zone for a bit. Fuzzy Raffles was then travelling extremely well. Um, but it was quite nice when they came to the second last and between our two horses were together and they'd gone away. So you quite like that situation that they can't both fall over, please. <laughs> and you, you know, you know you're sort of you're, you've got it covered. And I thought they were really good. I mean, yes, Chantry is very good. And I would expect him to go up to three miles pretty shortly. I think we thought at the beginning of the season that our strength this year would be the novice chasers. And so I'm going to be ambitious and go to Aintree, I hope, all going well, with Shishkin in the two-miler, Fuzzy Raffles in the two-and-a-half, and Chantry House move up to three. That's the plan. With... Chantry House stepping up to three miles, could the potentially the King George be an option for next season? I think that's the idea. I mean, it certainly looked if three was going to suit him. Aintree would be a good place to 
just dry it out before we go to bed for the summer and therefore give us an idea of how we're going to plan next term. I do also think, I think Mr Fisher ran a very good race and an extraordinary run, Ryanair. It was furious and he actually ran very, very well. And I've always been thinking that he could move up to three and might be a King George horse. And I would say the same with Chantry House. I think he could easily, what you know, seeing that at Cheltenham, he certainly got the trip very well there um, and looks to be suited to three miles. Um, if Aintree went well, I'm sure we would be thinking down King George lines, but, you know, long way to go. And if you could have stopped the week halfway through Friday, you probably would have done the Gold Cup, didn't, didn't quite go to plan. Well, that was the absolute, yes. Was, to be fair, the rest of the week had gone, I'm afraid England didn't have a great time. They, we were absolutely wiped out by Ireland, but we would have settled for what we'd got at the time. You know, the one race... One really hoped we thought we had two pretty good chances in the Gold Cup, and that was very, very disappointing. I mean, to be fair and square, it was all over after five fences with both horses, and that was a shuddering jolt, I can assure you. No, no, and it sort of slightly it does ruin the week. Otherwise, you'd have come home very satisfied if somebody said. You'll have two winners, two seconds, two thirds, two fourths, fifths. You know, they were all running well. It was just that one race that was really, really disappointing. Champs going back home to start. He'll have a bone scan next week, and we're pretty. He's already had back surgery. Um, they're pretty sure they know where it is and what we need to do, but it will involve further surgery on his back, and there was no doubt that's what it's all about. And Santini. He, to be fair, I just think we, you know, we put a visor on him just to try and sharpen him up, and at home it appeared to be a good idea. On the race course, it was not. He just didn't, he didn't face them. You know, some horses face them and some don't, and he didn't. And can we see him in the Grand National? Not this year, no, no. He'll go and take a break now. I think it's where he'll finish up one day. Yes.